James Gallagher, uh, welcome to London. Um, so you're in town, but you're not fighting. Is that a frustrating feeling? How's that feeling? Mm, yeah, a little bit because I kept asking them to get on the card. Right. So I did, and then they didn't have room. They put me on it. So now then I just forgot about that quickly, and I've just set my mind on what I'm going to do next and what my plan is. So I've just set my mind towards that, and I forgot about it, and I've just came here to. Eat. Enjoy the fights and st a few of my teammates are fighting as well, so it'll be it'll be good to go and watch them and go and watch them do the business and stuff. And but when you always come to these and you it's like do you know what I mean and you come and you see the, all everyone at the hotel, all the regular guys, and what you to be there, and you check in for your weight and all this stuff. And you be walking down into these places and you be like, fuck's sake, I wish I was you no know, actually being here for a fight myself, and I wish I was on you no know, making weight, and I wish I was doing all this stuff and. You, you miss out on it, you know what I mean, but my time will come and I'll be ready when it does. <laughs> Is that feeling made worse because of the injuries and the fact you've been out of the cage for a little while now? Yeah, it's the longest since I've been 13, it's probably the longest length of time that I haven't been fighting. So it is, I haven't spent more than the, the coming up June was my last fight, so it's almost a year now since my last fight and it is, it is a bit frustrating, but I've been behind the scenes working on other things and getting other things up to the same level and I just feel that now I come the end of the year around October time I'll be ready to go and I reckon I'll be in a such better position than I'm in now and I feel like that everything will just it feels like it's just right that little time off just did me good do you know what I mean but but it wasn't like time off because I was always like working towards a fight and stuff and there was always shit going on so it wasn't like I wasn't just sitting back relaxing, do you know what I mean? I've always I've been working on stuff and coming back from the injuries and then now I'm just working on my game, working on getting better and stuff like that and just over my overall skill set. So I reckon it'll be good now to come back. I reckon my mind will have that time off from competition that when I switch it back on that I'm gonna be like a new animal, do you know what I mean? It'll be I'll be I'll be motivated for it. I was going to ask, you know, you're only 21, is there sort of a silver lining here that you do get to take some time away and work on that game? Because you are only young and it's, you've been on such a tear and a big, big momentum wave. Do you think it's good that you've actually had to stop and just work on maybe a little bit of holes here, holes there? Yeah, 100%. You get caught up in it. You, you do, do you know what I mean? You, next minute you, you're like chilling and then you're like, no, then you can't walk up the street and you just walk in the restaurant back home and you just, everyone's serving you food or something. And, they'd be like, oh, is that everything, James? And you're just like, how the fuck does this person even know my name? Do you know what I mean? And it just takes a wee bit while they get used to you and you're walking up the street and you can just see like people looking at you different, you know, like double looking at you, you know, and it, if it, you were like just normal, you'd be like, what the fuck are they looking at? you know what I mean? But then you have to realize that they've just seen you fight or, or something like this. So it takes a little bit to get used to that kind of thing, but I'm only young as well, bouncing around, you know what I mean? Just having, having the crack with everyone and I, I enjoy, I enjoy that side of things and, but it's good to just let everything settle and I feel I've got everything on track and now I'm focusing on my game and getting my skill set better and I feel like I've got everything else covered and that's the only thing else that I've got to do now is get my skill set better, get back in a fight and climb my way to the top. So you mentioned you have big plans and you've been seeing what's ahead of you. What is the injury behind you now and then what exactly are those big plans? Oh, 100%. All them injuries are gone now. I'm fresh and I've been training hard and kept taking away and like a, doing those of like prehab kind of training and stretching and just keeping all my body like firing and active so they prevent all them injuries. And I learned a lot, how, a lot about how to do that when I come back from a knee injury. Learned just a little different things in the rehab process that that I never added into my training before. So I've added all that kind of stuff in and. Now I'm planning for coming back around October. I reckon it'll be my next fight, so it's about five months away. Four or five months, isn't it? Yeah, it's about four or five months away, and then uh, I'll come back then, and uh, hopefully it'll be in Dublin. That's what that's what the plans might be, so I'm just going to keep the head on and keep keep working towards that and just improving everything and of, of my skill set and make a big, big statement when I come back and rack all the fights up. I don't want to take another year off. I want to be a world champion, but you no, know I mean soon. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to. It's, I know everyone's saying, "Oh, you, you, you're young. You have loads of time." But I know I've got loads of time, but I want it now. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to wait till next year or the year after or the year after. I want it. I want it now. I want to be a world champion now. I want to be doing this interview with a fucking belt around my shoulder. Do you know what I mean? That's that's what I want. So 
I'm just going to put my head down and stay focused and, and make a run for it. It's the only thing I can do. And uh, and just keep working on my skill set, on the process. And that's it. As long as you never forget that, people will be like, do you know what I mean? Think you get to this stage and be like, oh, I'm good now. I just show up and fight. It's not that. Do you know what I mean? That's the last thing you do. That If you just keep in your head that no matter what, just keep training, 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 building skill set, improving every day, just act like a beginner every day in the gym, then you'll never go wrong. You know what I mean? Everything else will take care of itself. So with that in mind, you want to get that title. Is it, do you have an opponent in mind that you want next to help you get there faster, or do you just want to get back in the cage more than anything? Anyone. I just want to fight. Mm -hmm. So I don't care. Just I'll, yeah. I'll say to them, Give me whoever is going to get me the next step closer. I don't care who I fight. You know what I mean? I get it's going to be this. It's the same no matter who I fight. There's no, there's no different for me. Do you know what I mean? Everyone else is just a name until I get to the champ to get that belt. Do you know what I mean? They're just opponents. They're whether it's it doesn't make a difference to me. Do you know what I mean? Whether it's someone who thinks he's better or whatever, it's I'm just going to go and fight them. Do you know what I mean? It's not like fight this guy it's better for this or if it's better for that like I don't feel like they're any different any of them it's me who brings the show it's me my performance until I get to the belt all these guys are just another name for me to be do you know what I mean so that's the way I look at it and I'm just going to keep putting these guys away until I get towards that belt and when I get to him I'll go and do the same to him he'll be just another name when it comes to that time and I'll go in there and beat him as well and take his belt so is this a fight back in October and then it's just back on the horse, you want to get as many fights in as you can. Every couple of months, rack them up the way I have been, the way I used to always do it, just keep going, do you know what I mean? I don't want pauses, I don't want to, I want to be fighting and then, alright, you're up in eight weeks again, do you know what I mean? That's that's how, that's how I want to work, do you know what I mean? I'm young and starting out, do you know what I mean? I want to grab it all when I can get it, do you know what I mean? Because it's a short career. So why, why would I wait and try and wait for this and wait for that when I've got all the opportunities right at my doorstep? Mm -hmm. So I'm just grabbing every single one of them and running with it and keep working until I get what I want. So nothing confirmed yet, but fans can sort of look around for October, yeah. hopefully Dublin. Yeah. Made events a lot? Hopefully. It makes sense. That's what I want. Why, why? I want to start back where I left off. So I do so. Get me the same opponent that I was meant to fight in the main event in Dublin last year, and let's do it again. Boy, what was it called? Jeremiah Jer Jer Labinio. Mm. He was meant to be in Dublin, and then I was meant to fight Adam Barks. So they're the two people. It makes sense for me to go after them next. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't affect me, but I don't care who I fight, but just for respect for them, they were meant to fight me, so I just want to start back exactly where I left and build my way back up to the fucking belt. Do you know what I mean? So that's that's I think that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? There's no point in me going and fighting someone else when I could just start back exactly there and show them that I haven't lost a B. I've only got better. I've only got better and get back in there and make it look easy again. Alright, James. Thank you very much. Nice one.